Hello, friend, Mormo here, and uh, today we're talking about pricing your artwork effectively. And uh, I know when I first started pricing my artwork, I was just selling it for 10 bucks a, um, a piece for my work. And uh, this, I was just selling it on a one on one basis, just collecting money through PayPal and Cash App. So there was no third party fees. And I sold like maybe my first 10 or 12 pieces for 10 bucks a piece. And I always do free shipping because when you're selling art cards, you can ship for the price of a stamp. So it's usually just costs me like a, a thank you card and an envelope. And I get six of those for a dollar and then the stamp. And then I usually always include extras like stickers and prints and a signed glossy photo. So you can include extras and bonuses to make to really over deliver when you're creating a package and art offering. And uh, there's some factors you want to consider when determining the value of your art. And so that's like life experiences, education, um, in my case, it's even my mental disabilities and stuff. I can charge a little more because I have the mental disability and stuff. And, uh, but there's also like if you've been to school or not, if you've been to school, you can make more money. If you have an interesting career, you can make more money. Like the more famous you are, you can make more money. And uh, the more prolific you are, you can probably, well, that's a, something to, um, that would determine the value. Like me, I can only do one art card a day. And so that makes them a little more valuable than if I was doing like four a day or something, then I'd probably have to sell them for less. So there's like some um, scarcity to my art cards because I can only do one a day and uh, you got to figure in shipping and everything and uh, you want to balance artistic worth and market demand so if there's a lot of people looking for a certain type of artwork then um, you can charge more if it's like more rare or um, if not a lot of people are doing it like if there's a ton of people putting out art similar to yours then um, there's probably not that much market demand, but in, unless it's like really high quality art, but if it's like just decent quality art and it's something that a lot of people are doing, but you can find like places where there's market demand like, for instance, I know that old sci-fi TV shows, there's people who will buy art based off of, like, old sci-fi TV shows and stuff. And uh, it's important to do transparency and pricing for building trust with buyers. And uh, so you want to be upfront about shipping and everything. And how you can be upfront about how much time it's taken you to make the art and uh, what your materials cost and everything. You can be transparent about all that to make people more comfortable. And like I said, build trust where they trust you that when they're investing in your art, they know 
how much time was spent on it, what your materials costed, and everything, and they know your bio and all of your experience and everything and what makes your art valuable. So anyways, that's what I have to say about pricing your art effectively and keep watching. Hello friend, uh, I'm Mormo. Those cards you were just looking at are from my good friend Icy Bird and uh, I'm going to put a link to his eBay store in the description where you can pick up prints and originals and stuff and uh, so definitely check that out from Icy Bird and uh, I was just talking about my pricing and my prices right now are like 20 for originals I got three prints for $10, I got two prints for $5, and uh, my originals are probably going to go up in price to $40 a piece pretty soon. I have a 20 year old piece of artwork for uh, $50 right now on my eBay store and uh, so hopefully you learned about pricing your art and I think most artists undervalue their art which is why there's such an opportunity for flipping art where you take an artist who undervalues their art and then you sell it at a higher price than what you paid for it I think that's a really good opportunity for anybody interested in art to become an art dealer or an art flipper I think it's a really good opportunity but anyways thanks so much for watching please subscribe please thumbs up please click the link in the description and uh, and thanks so much hello friend Mormo here I've started my very own collection and personal series of trading cards Each one is personally hand-drawn and designed by me. This has been a creative and lucrative business for myself. I personally autograph and date each one. Each card is uniquely different. If you would like to order a card today, you can search for Mormozine on eBay or contact me at mormozine at hotmail.com. Thanks so much.